Hey guys, happy Friday. Today is December 7th, 2018. Today, I'd like to talk about the announcement of the Navi, AMD Navi, RX 3000 series video cards. Um, should be a promising card, as it, it's going to beat the performance of a similar RTX 2070 and a GTX 1080. Uh, but to start off, uh, I'd like to talk about the markets right now. Uh, Ethereum bounced back 9%. It went down 18% yesterday, so it was about at $83, $82 at the low. But now it's at uh, 95 61 USD. Bitcoin went up $1.29. And basically the market is still pre pretty much down overall. Uh, but enough about that guys, uh, let's talk about the AMD Navi. So this is an article uh, released three days ago or two days ago on WCCF Tech. Their repu reputable uh, hardware uh, review site, gaming site now. Uh, they've been around for a while. Um, so yeah, here is the title, AMD Navi RX 3080, 3070, and 3060 specs and prices leaked. RTX 2070, GTX 1070, and GTX 1060 challengers at 249, 199, and 129. Oh, I think I made a mistake. I, I said 270, or uh, 1080. But I think the 270 is on par performance-wise on 1080 anyway, so it's the same, same thing. Wow, 129 for a uh, 3068, 249 for 3080. That so Canadian, that's gonna be yeah, 400. I bet it's gonna be like 500 bucks Canadian to start off with, unless the mining boom just the mining cryptocurrency starts going up in the next year, in the next uh, year, and then the cars will cost even more, right? Uh, let's hope not. Anyway, um. AMD is alleged, allegedly readying three brand new graphic cards based on its upcoming 7 nanometer Navi graphics architecture. If this leak, and if this leak courtesy of Adore TV is accurate, they're going to sell like hotcakes. Ha! Huh. Well, yeah, obviously, I mean, if it's going to be on par with the 1070, 1060, and 270s. Uh, the venerable YouTuber also dropped a massive leak earlier today detailing the specs of prices of AMD upcoming 7 nanometer Ryzen 3000 series lineup, including a 16 core 32 thread monster 3850X CPU with a 5.1 gigahertz boost clock. Holy guys, AMD is killing it lately. It's, they're killing Intel. Intel is just, man, Intel is not doing well. They're, they're, they're just, oh man, they're just not able to keep up, I can feel, in the next couple of years. Uh, AMD is just rocking it, guys. And also with their video cards, too. They're just, so, sooner or later, these cards, like AMD, I swear, and then like 4000 series, they're going to surpass the, the NVIDIA cards. But who knows, who knows. Um, yeah, on continuing with the article, with that out of the way, let's get into what AMD's graphics division allegedly, allegedly has in store for us at CES just over a month from now. Oh yeah, in January. Uh, it's important to point out that none of these alleged specifications, performance claims, or prices have been confirmed in any way, shape, or form. Take this unverified leak as <laughs> with any other with a grain of salt. Okay, so I'm covering something that's that's basically not confirmed or or denied, and but uh, yeah, unverified. Um, AM, AMD Radeon RX 3000 series, a new name for a new series. Well, yeah, I mean it's 2000 to 3000. I mean RX 580 to RX 3000. I feel like going backwards, but like it's, they added another zero. Um, AMD's next generation Navi family will initially be compromised of three mem three members, which the company has planned to announce at CES next month. These include the Radeon RX 3080, 3070, and 3060. 
Um, yada yada yada. Um, GPU product lines will now fall under one 3000 series banner. And who knows, maybe they're hoping this might rub off some Ryzen charm onto Radeon. Huh. Oh yeah, because the uh, Ryzen's are 3000. Um, so yeah, guys, it's a 7 nanometer card. And uh, I, the first thing that comes to mind, and I, I'm thinking the first thing that comes to most of your guys' mind that watch my channel or have searched about this is, is it good for mining? And I know some of you that might be watching right now be like, no, Red Panda Mining, please, no more mining. It's done. It's a dead thing. It's a dead meme. It's not going to go up anymore. It's not going to happen anymore. Guys, video card mining has been around since the very beginning of Bitcoin. Back in 2008, 2009, mining with a video card has not died. I mean, in terms of dying, as in you're talking about pricing, the crypto price is going down, it's not being profitable. But mining with a video card, it's always going to be there. It's, it's always going to happen. Whether it's profitable or not, mining with a video card is still going to be there. Um, in my opinion, not fin this is not financial advice. Uh, so, <laughs> so yeah, the RX 3080, um, seven nanometer, um, eight gigabyte GDDR6, uh, performance against the RTX 2070 is roughly at 249 USD with a TDP of 150 watts. Guys, that's crazy. That's amazing. That's amazing. 15% 15, 15 performance boost from the Vega 64. So that's that's quite awesome. Uh, man, for mining, it might be pretty good. I mean, if, if someone makes a mining protocol that works well with GDDR6, or um, who knows, oh God, a girl will come up with something for AMD, hopefully. And... Uh, yeah, Claymore Miner maybe will come up with a program to mine Ethereum or whatever the next coin will be. Um, yeah, the RX 3080 will allegedly feature a, the company's upcoming Navi 10 built GPU built on TSMC's 7 nanometer FinFET process paired with 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 with a TDP of 150. That's quite amazing, guys. I hope that comes out soon. Um, okay, and then the performance of the RX 3070 7 nanometer Navi 12 GPU 8 gigabytes DDR6 is compared to the GTX 1070 class at $200. 120 watt TDP, and it's equal to a Vega 56 in performance. Wow. Crazy, guys. Crazy. Uh, then the RX 3060, which requires no 6-pin power adapter, 75-watt TDP, so that'll be running off the motherboard. Um, 130 bucks, 4 gigabytes GDDR6, that's amazing. Um, good for budget builds and Fortnite at 1080p max graphics, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, GTX 2050, 1060, RX 580, competes with the RX 580. That's pretty cool, guys. That's pretty cool. Yeah. First thing comes to mind. I wonder how these will do with mining. I mean, with the price point, it sounds pretty good. I mean, I think I'm going to be saving up some money to buy uh, a couple of these and trying it out. I'll definitely make videos on them uh, once they come out. And uh, hopefully there's some uh, mining programs that'll that'll take use of, this, of these cards or something. Uh, but uh, obviously they won't be released until much, much after, a couple months after. Because people want to profit off, the, profit off these before anyone else. Um, yeah, anyways, guys. Uh, yeah, I don't have much thought to this except, yeah, I'm pretty excited. And um, let me know down below what you guys think. And uh, yeah, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, tell me in the comments uh, how I'm doing. Uh, Anything I need to improve on, and anything you guys want me to talk about, um, I can make an, I can make new videos about anything. Um, I'm waiting for my capture card so I can do uh, 
uh, streams with my mining rigs and I can do real time uh, hash rates and tweaking and fun looking at Bitcoin talk and, and figuring out what new coins to mine just for fun and or maybe see what's profitable. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, have a good night. Happy Friday. Have a good weekend. See ya.